Fantastic. Manchester United have ended the season empty-handed. It's a dream, and to continue the dream, I'm joined by the one and only Elliot Hackney. Make sure that you subscribe to his channel. The link is in the description below. El, I can't say I'm not happy about that. Is that malicious of me? Is that okay to say? Well, that? yeah, because you don't want them, you didn't want them to win. I but, didn't. You know why not? I, I, look, you don't want Manchester United to to accrue silverware. There's nothing good about Manchester United getting silverware, from my perspective. I don't mind it, but I've never had that sort of uh, hatred towards them that you probably have. It's, it's, do you know, I just don't, I think it's, I think today a victory for Manchester United would have been very significant in their quest to get back to where they think they belong and where yeah. they certainly once did. So the fact that they haven't won today, it's a stuttering effect. And... Oh, that'll, that'll hurt. It will, yeah, it will. It will really hurt. Especially in the manner it's happened. Totally. Yeah. Mate, when you score, when you, they should have won. You think of the way that they blitzed past Roma to get into the final we felt like they were destined to win it, irrespective of whether it was Arsenal. Do you know that's the other thing? It's it's a bit of a kick. It's a bit of a kick for Arsenal, isn't it? Because they spoke about Unai Emery in very disparaging terms. They didn't rate him. They sacked him, and he has now gone on to done it again to win his trophy, a it's trophy that has become fourth. his his fourth. His fourth. He's insane how good he is and his record in this competition. I mean. The parallels has gone on and won a uh, Villarreal's first ever major trophy, maybe, and um, you know Arsenal are, are where Arsenal are. But that game there, Manchester United should have had it wrapped up. They, when as soon as they got the goal back, well, I bet on them at half time when they were losing. I thought that the kings of the comeback. They've done it so many times this season in the Premier League. They can come back from here and win it. They got the one, and I thought, right, it happens now. Rashford, he was so bad tonight, so off. Had a couple of chances as well, certainly half chances that you'd think he would have made it. One made. wasn't even a half chance, one was a tap in. Yeah. An open goal practically, put it wide. Uh, there was a few chances. Cavani had one put on his head by Luke Shaw that just came yeah. straight off a defender. There were so many you know, guilt edge chances in the end, and um, it's gone all the way to extra time. We've gone through the whole squad on Penos. And De Gea with a terrible penalty, and he wasn't too good at saving anyway. Well, he, 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 save he didn't get close. One out of ten. Like you've got to get somewhat. You've got to save one, haven't you? Yeah, he didn't even get close. I can't. It? Do you know? It's the first time I've really thought about it, but I can't really think of De Gea saving any penalties. Like he isn't. He isn't famed for it. No, no. It's, it's not something. It's he's, definitely not something he's known for. Yeah, didn't get. Didn't get close today. I thought Villarreal were brilliant though. Um, I don't know. About, I don't know if in I'm terms of the way they no, they didn't play brilliantly, but the spirit and tenacity and and desire on display that felt like it was personified by Albiol. You love him. I love him. I love the way he played the game. Real Madrid. Do, do you know what I loved massively as well? Because Cavani is a force, right? Cavani is a scary dude. Albiol wasn't having it from him. He wasn't no, no. bullied. He wasn't. And I just, I really rate that. Just, just the way that he's so confrontational, yeah. And then scored his penalty, went mad, full of passion, full of desire. I just love that in a player. I think it's brilliant. Do you know what? And uh, thinking about it as the game, as you know, we sort of evaluate what's just happened, what it'll come down to now and what, you know, what the Man United fans will be looking at and the rest of the football world will be looking at, all his substitutions were t terrible didn't make any sense. He made them at the wrong times. I think we got to the 89th minute and Villarreal had made five subs and Man United had made none. Now, I know that Man United haven't got the strongest bench, but at that point in the game, there was so Rashford was playing so poorly. They could have done legs in midfield. Pop was a strange decision to bring off ahead of penalties. It's, it's just so many things there get, that are going to be analysed and questioned by not only the football world, but Man United fans are thinking... What sort of game management is that for a final? Well, the United fans were singing sub, sub, sub. Yeah. Like, they were actually they, they, like... But this is, this is the thing. It's, they do it all the time. He's so, he's, he's so weird with his substitutions. For a guy who's come on as a sub in a European final and scored yeah, a goal... Knows the impact. Knows, knows what it knows can what, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems to go, ah, oh, we shouldn't do that. Yeah, I can't so understand odd. the reluctance. So odd. Because it clearly wasn't working. What they tried to set up for wasn't working. Mm. So you've got to have a plan B, haven't you? You've got to look to experiment in another way. Um... Yeah, he's, he's got it wrong. And the people that are the non-conformists, the people that don't support the social appointment, and I'm talking, I'm talking within the Manchester United community here, by the way, not in the wider football consensus, they're going to have their knives out tonight, aren't they? Oh yeah, yeah. There'll be there'll be an inquest as to what's gone on and why it, you know, just why it happened in the European final. There's so many people's legs going out there that could have just changed, freshened up, and he left it 
too late to really make an impact. I don't think they were on top necessarily in extra time uh, where they could have been maybe if all the changes have been made. People have been able to find the groove a bit first. You're just throwing them on with like 15 minutes. You know, they're not going to really have any major impact unless a miracle happens. It was just strange and poor decisions that will I don't think it'll come back to haunt him because he's not going to lose his job or anything over this. But it'll certainly, I think, it'll I think certainly it will have haunt, a mark against him. I think it will haunt, haunt the club. Oh, yeah. Losing this final... For what they were trying to do, for where they're trying to go, for what they're trying to achieve, that is a mark. That is a moment. Whoa, Mi Mr. McKenna's in. The haunting of the Europa in. League. It'll <laughs> haunt them forever. It will haunt them. United. <laughs> That's, I, like, I rate that. Oh, we're having a good time. Ah, oh, so fun. Hey, He's you know what? I got, I got loads of tweets this week. Just say Saturday, Friday, mm. Thursday. Enjoy the Europa League. Oh, I have. I've enjoyed the Europa League, but I won't need to next season. <laughs> um, yeah, it was very, very good. What, Thanks how that. significant do you think the defeat is for Solskjaer? Like, Not at all. I think really? it's completely opposite. I, I think it's huge. No, I think it's the opposite. I get that there's going to be tripping along the way. I think this is going to be one of those things that brings the team together. They're going to say, look, it doesn't change anything about the transfer window. They've already got Jadon Sancho locked down. Already a couple of other guys already in there. going to be super satisfied. I personally think Manchester United will go on to bigger and better things, second and under, a semi final of the Champions League. But look, look at what they've done this year: quarter final, semi final, final. They've gone, they've lost in each in each of the in each of the above. That is significant. It's significant. And, and you know, I get that. You know the way that Mikel Arteta has been given a lot of time. Mm -hmm. A lot of that time has become available to him because he won the FA Cup. Mm -hmm. The fact that Solskjaer has tripped up again. It's the opposite. It's they the opposite. shouldn't have given him the time because of the FA Cup. But what they should have done is said to him, what, what journey are you on here? Where are we going with this? What's the, the direction? I do feel with, with Oli, at least they feel like this we're going in some direction. The problem is, I think United, and we've said this from day one, there are other managers out there that can take them in a different direction. So it's not about just going at speed in a direction. It's about the velocity you're on. Yeah. And I get that. And we, we spoke about maybe getting Poch or maybe getting Allegri or maybe getting Conte and all these kind of people. The thing that's alluring to me about that is I've seen that we were Liverpool was on a great trajectory with Brendan Rodgers. And everyone went, OK, that was good. You got close with the league. That was very good. We went into next season and thought, OK, there is actually a better option there. Do we move on now? That would be my concern. The though, ceiling. That, There's a ceiling but, for certain managers. But you don't know how high it is. You don't know. Like with Rodgers, it was like, oh, well, oh, we were so close. And it could have been the Premier League. But we were points away. And I'm not saying that we deserved it that year because I don't think we did particularly, although we were excellent. But the point is, in that, this is now the time where it's like, you have to deliver. Mm. So from next season onwards, so the if, they don't learn from, if they don't learn from that mistake, if you get them in the Champions League final next year, and uh, sorry, if you get them in the Champions League next year, and there are no players in their own half to defend yeah, in yeah. Turkey, then you know they're not learning from those mistakes. Yeah. But if you see solid group performances, you see those guys going through, learning from the mistakes early on in the season, when they have a pre-season this season, or, uh, granted not as long as the Euros, etc., but still a pre-season the same as everyone mm. else will have, then... There won't be the same mismatch and excuse, not excuses, but um, explanations of what happened this year. Yeah, yeah. And the fact is, Manchester United did finish not within touching distance, but if they just put a bit more heat on the city, it could have been a bit more interesting. I just think that so, Solskjaer has flopped at various moments this season. Mm, I get that. And I just feel like tonight, had he won, mm -hmm. it would have been huge. The fact that he hasn't won isn't necessarily the catastrophe that some will portray it to be. But it's a missed opportunity for him. I get that. I, I, mean, I mean, it's certainly a missed opportunity. Any final is a missed opportunity. And against Villarreal as but well. That's Manchester the point, United are playing Villarreal. They have to win that final. And that's kind of the point, isn't it? It wasn't like it was, um, you know, a team where they're like, not, oh, they're not we, playing we, we were so weak. Yeah, exactly. Whoever, they're not... They're playing Villarreal. They should be disappointed. And the fact is, sometimes it's better to look back and go, God, I'm actually really disappointed by that because mm. we were the better team. We should have won. We deserved that over the season, which... Maybe they have. Probably. Um, Probably. So, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of reasons to be negative, but also sort of go, well, you know what? There's loads of great things to come from. Like Mr. McKenna Let's finding see. the positive. I've rated it. I'm trying to. I've rated it. United! I've loved doing the kickoff tonight. Love doing so it. I, I love doing it with you. Thank you to everybody who was watching that. Thank you for watching this. Please click subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all very soon in a bit, y'all.